Hello there, my friend. You asked me to explain to you about forgiveness. Having heard from many people that you should forgive people who have wronged you and finding yourself unable to do so and thinking that there must be something wrong with you for not being able to forgive. Well, I think forgiveness is much harder to really give than people like to think and that many people force themselves to forgive when they're not ready to forgive and that some other people are forgiven when they're not ready to be forgiven. I actually think that human relations are very complex and that it is very important that we're fair in them and that we do justice both to ourselves and to others to prematurely forgive people although we know that forgiveness never means that we condone what we've done and that we can forgive sometimes just to remove ourselves from the wrong that's been done to us, which must be a good thing. But in actual fact, when we do that too rapidly, we find ourselves unable to sort things out between ourselves and the other person because forgiveness has already been given and therefore there is much less to resolve apparently when really there's still plenty to be said. In many religions forgiveness can only come after the other person shows contrition or remorse when they repent of the wrong things they've done. So forgiveness is given immediately if a person sees that they've wronged you and they regret it and they try to restore what they've taken from you and they try to make up for the wrongs they've done you. In such a situation, I think there's everything to be gained for being as forgiven, forgiving and compassionate as you possibly can. But failing that, if the person isn't able to feel remorse or contrition or repent, or if they don't show that they want to reform themselves and that they want to change and that they understand the ways in which they've wronged you, I think it would be very wrong to show so much compassion and so much understanding and so much forgiveness prematurely and inappropriately. I don't think that does anybody any good. And many years later, we will discover that the person is actually still carrying resentments about what's been done to them, and that they've actually become more victimized by being the one who's been so generous in their forgiveness and their understanding. And a pattern is set for people to become victimized regularly and always feeling the need to forgive and pretend that it is all right. So a balance needs to be struck. A balance needs to be struck between you not carrying resentments against anybody who didn't intend to harm you so much and who really has understood how they have inappropriately hurt you and who have shown that they've learned from that every bit as much as you've learned from it. But to be very cautious indeed about forgiveness in relation to people who carry on committing the same sins or offenses against other people that they have committed to you. In that situation, reconciliation would be very wrong indeed and everything should be done to either avoid that person or to make sure that justice can be done or that they can learn where they've gone wrong. Acknowledgement of how that person has wronged you is extremely important and that's why you need to share with as many people as possible the harm that's been done to you. Resentments only grow and only harm you as long as no acknowledgement has been given you about how you have suffered. And it is very important that this is done publicly and that there is some 
general societal acknowledgement of the hurt that was done to you because only if it is done publicly will there be a real kind of understanding of how much that hurt meant or what it really was to get a balanced view of the hurt that you feel you need to be able to talk about it and other people need to be able to put it in some perspective so don't hold on to your grudges or to your resentments or to the hurt that you feel but try to discuss it and try to put it up for some kind of general understanding so that you can find the right place for it once you've found the right place for it you can then engage with the values that make you aware that wrongs were done and you can work towards those values you can surpass the wrongs that were done to you quite apart or separate from whether or not the person who has wronged you has actually shown you contrition or remorse and has actually made things up to you you can bypass all of that by understanding the harm that was done to you accepting how that happened accepting how you will in future make sure that it isn't done to you anymore learn from it and then engage with the correct values that will save others from having that same hurt happen to them so you become an active worker towards justice towards rightness and towards making sure that the world becomes a slightly better place giving your forgiveness too quickly and too easily may be a very merciful thing to do and may seem like a very divine and superior thing to do but in the long term I don't think it improves the world the person who was victimized unless they're a very mean person and very vengeful person more often than not will be the kind of person who is quite forgiving to start with and that forgiveness may have forgivingness may have made them inappropriately assume that other people would be the same so victims need to learn to get strong to speak up to work towards a better more just society and working with other people to see how dangerous certain practices are and how we need to stand together against them and work together towards ways that are more fair more just and that will give us all a better basis on which to stand and live so don't make yourself guilty by other people telling you you should be forgiving when you're not ready for that forgiveness yet do the work that you need to do towards that forgiveness which is obviously a good direction of travel but do not do it prematurely and allow yourself understanding acknowledgement and a better conclusion in work towards justice I wish you all the best with that my friend be wise don't hold harms that were done against you against yourself by feeling bad about not being able to forgive when forgiveness has not matured yet and isn't ready to be given when the time comes and the wrongs have been understood and the person who did them to you is remorseful and contrite forgiveness will come automatically you can also make this happen with people who are no longer there to tell you that they'll they're sorry you can do the work to forgive your parents after you have done the work to understand what actually happened between you and them again do not do it artificially before you're ready before you have really understood why you felt so bad and before you have really truly understood why they may have done what they did this is a long arduous work 
to understand both yourself as the victim and understand the other as the perpetrator and give yourself the time to do it rather than to rush into peaceful solutions. Of course, that doesn't mean becoming vengeful. Vengefulness just leads to escalation of harm. So punishment and revenge are not good companions. But nor do you need to force yourself and expect yourself to be bigger than you are. Understanding is where it's at. Give yourself a chance. Always forgive yourself as soon as you can, as soon as you've done the work and have understood your own suffering or the own wrongs you have done yourself. When you understand why you've done that, you can also forgive yourself. Then let the people you've hurt know about it. Don't assume that they're all right. Make things up with other people as often and as well as you can. Be good. Be well. Bye for now.